Hey, you're in the living room on 938 Live. Well, he is Stanley Leong. I'm Pamela Ho, and we are glad you can join us today. One sound, one heartbeat, one earth. Well, that may sound like the tagline of a social or environmental cause, but it's really what the Temple of Fine Arts hopes to bring across with their production, Damaru, Pulse of Universal Music. Well, the concert is best described as a contemporary Indian music kaleidoscope, a tribute to the great masters and inventors of percussion and to the evolution of the art form. Now, this musical extravaganza will feature a plethora of instruments from the flute, the veena, the sita, to the piano, the uh, sarangi, the sar some of these instruments I've never even heard of, the sarot, <laughs> western strings, Australian Aboriginal didgeridoo, the Indian percussion instruments from ancient and present times, as well as drums from other cultures. We're looking at the cultures of Japan, uh, China, and the Middle Eastern culture as well. So how are they all going to be fused together? And what would be the greatest challenge for the composer and the arrangers? Yeah, that's right. Well, we find out now from uh, Damaru's composer, Nawaz Mirachka, who is also a renowned hub player. Well, Nawaz is the grandson of the late legendary tabla maestro, and I have to try to say this, Ustad Mebu Khan Sahed Mirajka. I hope I got that right. Sounds and good, well, yeah. and well, he began his formal training at the very tender age of seven years old, and his music has brought him all over Asia as well as the United States, where he has performed and conducted workshops. Well, in 2001, Nawaz, uh, with two other percussionists, set a new Guinness World Record for drumming non-stop for over 27 hours. Oh my goodness <sighs> gracious. <laughs> um, swell. Yeah, and swollen <laughs> hands. Well, we're glad he's looking all right. His hands too are looking great. Uh, joining now us, we have uh, Renuga Suresh, or, or Renu, we're going to be calling her. Uh, she's an accomplished pianist and also the music arranger for Damaru. And trained in Western classical music, Renu also picked up South Indian classical music and Indian dance from a young age. And over the last 23 years, she has performed in many lead roles in dance, drama, productions all over the world with TFA International. Now, our third guest uh, is Gavin Chu, and he plays the uh, djembe, or African drums. Now, Gavin started with Western drums at 13, just 13 years old, playing rock, heavy metal, and contemporary jazz before dabbling in hand percussions, which, of course, then led him to be roped in for Damaru, and is also the co-founder of percussion group Rhythm Earth. Time to get the rhythm going in the living room today. A warm welcome to Nawaz, uh, Renu and Gavin. Thanks for joining us today. And hey, not forgetting, hi. we have a fourth guest. That's right. That's right. We also have with us uh, Dr. Rajendran, who is actually, we just found that an Ayurvedic doctor by training. Mm -hmm. But, well, his love for, you know, percussions has actually led him to be a professional <coughs> percussionist and in Bollywood as well. Yep. Well, he won't be exactly uh, chatting with us, but he'll be demonstrating some of uh, the, the drum beats in just a little bit. And mm -hmm. we'll be hearing from him as well. Yes, a warm welcome also to Dr. Rajendran as well. That's that's right. Well, you know, first of all, you know, where we talk about uh, Damaru, which is really interesting, as presented by the Temple of Fine Arts. Now, tell us a bit about what that concert is in a nutshell. Yeah, um, Damaru is going to be um, a global music concert. We're trying to fuse percussions and um, percussions and instruments from east and west, and um, we have. Um, a lot of uh, exciting things lined up. We also have a music uh, drumming uh, demo um, before the whole uh, performance starts. Mm. That'll be at the foyer from 5.30 onwards. So we're going to have a drumming demo. We're going to have uh, Lavanya Arts, who's going to showcase different kinds of um, Indian um, outfits and decor from India. Mm. So that's going to be like a side event before the main event itself. It's like the starters before the main, main event. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what if there's yeah. dessert? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So basically, you would see um, a whole plethora of uh, drums and Indian and Western instruments. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So How did that idea come about? It's really interesting that you combine Indian, old, new, as well as Asian, and you know all sorts of drums. How did that idea, the concept, come about? Yeah. So I think I'll leave that to. I think uh, uh, Damaru actually is a drum of uh, our Lord Shiva, and uh, in uh, Indian theory, I think this drum was actually uh, uh, when uh, Lord Shiva, I think, he threw the drum and. Uh, we believe that the world was created when he twirled the drum. It's Indian mythology. Yeah, and yeah. you can see the drum here. It's some. It sounds like this. So apparently, when when the world was created, Lord Shiva was Lord of the Universe. He twirled this drum, and that apparently um, was the precursor of the Big Bang, which is the theory of the creation of the universe. So this was sounded before the Big Bang actually happened. So our first piece is called the Big Bang. Mm. Actually, uh, <laughs> it just happened because one so, day I was cleaning uh, my. Shelf. My music shelf in my school, 
And I just came across this small damro here. You know, oh, like that's this. so cute. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I was just playing with that and yeah. I just, I was thinking, you know, it's a, such a small drum, but it has a very fantastic sound. I mean, I ne nobody has thought and, uh, been, I mean, I, I thought maybe I should do something with this. And, uh, and then I, when I did the research, I really came across in Google, there are many drums uh, based on this drum. Like you look at the African drums, there's a, the one drum called uh, uh, Talking Drum. And uh, in fact, into the in the in the Mayan and Incan civilizations of South America, the ancient civilizations, this was a sacred drum which they used mm. in their worship apparently, and so too in Tibetan worship they used the damaru. So we found that not only in Hind in Hinduism and so Indian culture, it was used across different cultures, ancient cultures in the then world. Then I thought maybe I can I can yeah, bring with so this uh, concept I can bring a lot of cultures inside, and I I think uh, this is the best good idea to really bring. Uh, a lot of things inside with the drum concept and you can really uh, because i think uh, drum is the simplest thing to really bring the your thoughts and all these things out you know and uh, from there i think i thought maybe this this might be a good idea to really bring uh, all the cultures together and i did a lot of research on uh, uh, different drums and things and i i found this drum is really truly uh, all over maybe it has a different names maybe when you go to africa it's called different when you yeah. go to middle east it's different and if you go to china it's different yeah. But it's it's all over. So it's just that the rhythm is all over. You know, it just maybe I call it jambu and they might call it something else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think the cultures, you know, all over the world are more similar than different. You That's know, right. right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we thought that if you use this concept, it'll bridge all the cultures together mm. rather than just saying drums. You yep. know, yep. uh, damaru is something like you know we can find it across cultures. It's an ancient drum. You know, and again, and it's, it was, it's about yeah. bringing your energy outside. You know, like look at yeah. the drum. If you look at the drum, uh, it's like a, it's two triangles meeting together. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It actually and symbolizes... We actually found, we did some research, and funnily enough, we found that it's two triangles with the apexes meeting in the center. Mm. Like an hourglass. Yes. Exactly, exactly, hourglass. Yeah. And um, apparently it represents, in scientific explanation of time, they use this two triangles meeting as time. The triangle pointing up is the past, the triangle pointing down is the future, and where they fuse is the present. So in our in our whole, um, we're going to have a narrator for the whole performance, and he's going to represent time. So he, Damaru is time, where he 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 bridges all the pieces together as time talking to everyone. Right. Mm. So we're going to so have. Symbolic. Yeah. So we're going to have a script uh, where he's going to act out him as time. Uh, he's going to talk about different pieces and how it's all interlinked to the Damaru. Yeah. Mm. So.